Hello class, good morning and welcome to our first lecture here in ESI 138, your computer applications in engineering. And uh, as you can remember, our first topic will be an introduction of uh, this course or an introduction to your computer applications in engineering. So for this morning, we'll, we will be talking about computer hardware and software some data representation, how data are represented, and number system conversion, and computer-aided engineering. So, before we actually start, um, ato lang sa tanan atong surroundings. No, we are currently here in your Japanese garden, and uh, let's just have a glimpse of the university as um, you have missed this place. And now, now, for this lesson, as we end this lesson today, we will aim that you will understand the basic components of a computer. Second is uh, to convert a number from one system to another. We have here numbers and uh, they represent something. And uh, a goal kay I convert na siya into another something. Okay? And we will understand what that something later. And also to identify the different application areas of computer in engineering. Okay, so those are the objectives for this lesson. So you already have known how important computer are right now, especially we, when we are now on the digital age, when we are now um, uh, entering to smart technology. It has been a part of our lives every day just like your cell phones, your laptops, your computers, and everything. So, why do we use computer? Computers are very useful to us because why? We have three things. You have their speed. Sa una siguro, computers are not that reliable because they are slow before. But now, we have faster um, processing. Another one is reliability. In processing information, um, uh, I think siguro ang computer is more reliable now in processing information compared sa mga tao. And also, their capability of storing information. Because, yes, computers are good in storing information unless makorap sila but seldom ra na mahitabo. Okay? So let's go back to the fundamentals of computer. And we already know that a computer has two components. Sa ganitong two components, well, your hardware and your software. So what are the different what So what is the difference of your hardware and software? So basically, a computer hardware DI it refers to all physical components that make the computer system. So what does that mean? What you actually saw, that computer can physical physical appearance, that is the hardware of the computer. For example, your tablet. So this is the hardware of the computer. Your cell phone, this is the hardware of your computer. Okay? Kanang ang imong PC, mo ang hardware. So mo ang imong matkitan, o imong magunitan. That is the hardware. Okay? And ang isa, the computer software, it is the machine readable instruction. So these are the instructions that should be done sa imong computer in order for it to function. Okay? So you have a hardware, but kanang hardware dili na siya mo function unless it has software. Unless it has these instructions para mo function ang kanang computer. Okay? So here are the main parts of your hardware. So first is your input device. So basically, your input device, it is where you input information. Unsa man nga mga information. For example, your keyboard, diha ka mag-input og letters. So, nag-input ka dito sa computer sa imong ganahan nga letter. For example, F. Kuhaan kag F. Okay? And your mouse, probably. Or unsa pa man, camera siguro. Okay? And others. Another one, another part of a hardware is your storage device. Or basically, it is where your memory is stored. Okay? So, siguro mao ng atong mga SSD, siguro, mga HDD. And after the 
information is stored in your memory, your computer will process it. So therefore, it goes to your processing unit. Okay, dito sa imong motherboard. Ay, sakto ba niya? Ako ba ang ipangingon? Oh my God. I-process sa computer ang information. Nga, imong gisulod. Okay? And as it process the information nga gisulod ni mo dito sa computer, then it will show that information. Iingon sa computer nga, maoda ay ng information nga imong gisulod. Sakto ba? So, that is where your output device goes. So, unsa man po ng output device? Mga na itong monitors, mga na itong printer, mga na itong speaker, and etc. So, basically, for example, nag-type ka o F-E-I-H-L siguro sa imong keyboard, then, wato siya sa memory, i-process siya sa computer, and then, once gani, ma-process siya, iya ipakita dito sa monitor nga nag-type ka o F-E-I-H-L. So, those are the main parts of a hardware. So, let's go to the software side of the computer. We have two categories for your software. First is your system software. So, basically, kaning system software, this operates and controls the computer hardware. So, maoni ang instructions nga kailangan sa imong hardware in order for that hardware to operate. Kung wala ni siya, dili jod mo run ang imong computer at all. What are some examples of system software? You have Windows, you have Mac OS, you have Linux, and you have Ubuntu. So those are system softwares that kani sila, kung wala ni sila, dili mo function ng imong computer. And another kind of software is your application software in which these are programs that extends the usability of your software of the of your system software basically these are the applications that you are installing in your computer in order for your computer to have more functions so you have your microsoft word you have your microsoft excel and etc blah 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 there are a lot of application softwares and again these application softwares are not necessary for your computer to function but Siguro, kailangan ni Nemo in order for you to perform tasks that you need. Okay? So, ing ana lang. That is the difference of your system software and application software. Nahagets ka sa ako yung explanation? Wala mo ka na may naod eh. So, now, how does a computer represent data? So, we should understand how data works in your computer because mauna ang basic nga fundamental concept nga giunsa pag process aning computer giunsa how amazing your computer process this data so we have two types of signals a computer use to represent data okay natay duha first is your digital device and another one is your analog device so, unsa man ang digital and unsa man ang analog. So, basically, digital works with distinct or separate numbers. Okay? So, kana siya, ang atong digital, mugana lang na at a specific value. For example, 0 and 1. Okay? Or another example, on or off. Another example, yes or no. Another example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Another pa nga example, A, B, C, D, E, F. Iya lang, ibasa ang kanang A, ang kanang 1, ang kanang 0. Unlike aning atong analog device, in which it operates on a continuously varying data. So, katong sa atong digital 1, maulang na. 1, 0, maulang na. 0. Ang kaning atong analog device, it can of operate at an infinitesimal nga amount of data. In order for us to have more knowledge about this concept, check this one. So, let's have an example of a difference between an analog and a digital. And I think this is the very 
the most common example of an analog and digital. For example, you have this clock. On my left side, I have this analog clock. And on the right side, I have this digital clock. And, and as you can see on the hands of this analog clock we have here, the shorthand is between 5 and 6, I think. And the long hand is between 7 and 8. And in this case, we can read the time using analog clock if we're going to zoom this one. And we can see nga ang imong shorthand, since tunga man siya sa 5 and 6, we know that it's 5 o'clock. And our long hand, because inig zoom na to, makitaan na to nga kung ato pa jodi dool, tunga siya sa 36 o sa 37. And in this case, we will know that the time is 5.36. And we also know kung pila na lang ka seconds para mo 5.37 na. Just by looking how close ang kaning atong long hand diri sa next nga time. Diba? And in this case, diri sa tong digital, kung yung lang atong urasan, Dili takibaw kung unsa ka dugay pa siya mo adto sa 37. So limited lang ang iyang values na alang ta sa aning 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9. Wala takibaw kung hapit na siya mo 37 kay wala man takibaw kung unsa na siya kaduol na unless kung natay second time. Okay? So motoy pasabot adtong atong analog maghibawan na to kung unsa na siya ka close dira sa tong 37 because you still have infinitesimal nga mga amounts dira before ta mo abot sa 37 unlike sa aning atong digital we only have 6 and then mo ambak na siya og 7 inig abot na sa time og 7 another another instance uh, another example for a digital and analog is this one so we have this time here okay and as you can see there is a tong digital we have specific values at a certain time of t so for example we have time of one second ang value niya is one times at two seconds ang value niya is two times at three seconds value niya is three Ang time sa 1.5 seconds, probably ang value niya po niya is 1. Wala lang na ito na tarong graph. Pero dili sa analog, makakita ka nga infinite na ang values nga naadira sa atong curve. Okay? And let's say, balik ta, ato lang sa siguro iso tinga 1 na po ni dere. So we know that the value dira. 1.22. And mo isbog ta gamay, 1.001 mag-change na po ng iyang value and bisag gamay lang atong increments mag-change ang iyang value and we have infinitesimal values when we are dealing with analog signals okay well, digital signals only receive signals kung naatay high or low voltage for example, natay 5 volts ang kanang atong transistor and that one will only read 0 and 5 volts. So, para maka-communicate ta sa computer, ng atong gamiton kay ang digital. Ano man? Because your computer only can understand a specific value. For the case that sa atong volts-volts, it can only understand no volt, and it can only understand... There is a volt, let's say 5 volts. And dili maka-understand ang atong computer at an increment of values of volts. Kay masayop na niya og read. So our computers are digital. So for a digital computer, each number or letter is fundamentally represented by a combination of ones and zeros. So nakabantay mo anang diha sa atong mga kanang kung naagani mga computer computer things na yun, mga zero one zero one zero one one zero zero. Because basically, this 
ones and zeros are the fundamental representation of your data. Nganing anak man. It's because your electrical sig signals can only recognize probably on and off. So, para maka-identify ang atong signals, basically, dapat na lang siya yung ka choices on and off. And in this case, ang ato lang gigamit for easier nga representation is 0 and 1. 0 for off siguro, and 1 for on. Since there are only two symbols, 0 and 1, or on and off, or yes or no, so this method actually is uh, mo na itong gitawag nga binary number system. In which, again, it only uses two symbols. Pero again, ang kanunay nga gamiton is ang 0 o 1. And the number formed in this system is what you call your binary code. So later on, I will give to you some examples on how to make binary code by using numbers. So katong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, giunsa na nila pag express into binary codes. Okay, di ba? Ang binary codes, we only use 0 and 1. So how can we express 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 into a binary? So ato na e, tako later on. However, as the value of numbers goes higher and higher, then these binary codes becomes more lengthy for humans and programs to understand and to read. Then, therefore, there are other number systems that were developed. So, ang fundamental, katong binary, katong 0 and 1. Now, as these numbers, they are representing more symbols, more numbers than na nangita na po ang mga engineers on some other way to express number systems. Sige, karon, let's go deeper aning atong binary system. And again, it is called binary number systems because it only composes of two digits, ang 0 and your 1. So basically, kanang atong 0 and 1, that is what you call a binary digit. Or, to make it shorter, mo na itong gitawag nga bit. Ang 0, ang 1, mao na atong mga gipang tawag nga bit. Okay? And, kana atong mga bits, kanang atong zeros and ones, if we are grouping it together, ug 8. So, sa usa ka grupo, na ay nag-compose og 8 ka bit. And that is what we call a byte. B-Y-T-E. A byte. So, for example, siguro sa byte is kanang 1010000000. Sakto ba? 1010000. Sakto. 8 ka buok nga bits na nga nag-compose sa kagroup mo na itong gitawag nga byte. Nga na lang. Okay. So, as computer technology progressed before, ilagi standardized nga ang byte is only composed of 8. Ano man? Ngayon 8? Ask them, not me. Okay? So, therefore, a single byte could represent 256 possible values ranging from 0 to 255. So, nganong nga nakaingunta nga 0 to 255 because again, each number represents a certain binary code. Okay, so from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 until 255, na na sila kaugalingon nga gerepresent nga binary code which is 8 nga binary digits or katong bit composes of 8 so siguro ang 0 is 00000000 nya ang 1 is 00000001 nya ang 2 is 00000010 so ing ana and so on okay so ing ana lang now what are parity bits Ang kaning parity bits, these are basically checkers. Nag-check lang ni siya if ang katong atong send nga data nga byte is correct. Unsa man niya pag-check? So for for example, nay usa kong computer o nya nay isa ka computer and you want to send information to the, to the other computer. And the other computer will check 
kung sakto nga data ang iyang send by parity bits. Ang kaning parity bits, actually, iya lang giihap ang number of ones sa usa ka byte. Okay? And iya i-identify whether ang number of ones are even or odd. For example, diri sa atong value nga 131 na siya'y binary code of 1000011. Okay? And saan ang example? You have four nga ones. And that is even. So, if ang other computer is looking for an even nga parity, then, so dapat ang parity nga gi-assign dito sa itong code is zero. If, your com if the other computer is looking for an even parity. But if add ang parity nga gipangita sa isa ka computer, then, for ang imong ones so in order for it to be add then a parity of a value of 1 should be assigned anang a code and send it there to the other computer libog no well we will have some in depth um, topic siguro ana later on we also have here coding schemes diba we can re represent numbers and we can represent symbols. So, ang numbers, we have infinite numbers. Ang symbols, daghan kay tag symbols. So, your data, these numbers or these codes are represented either by numeric data or character data. When you say numeric data, of course, it consists of numbers lang. Mao nang imong represent numbers. And uh, these uh, numeric data are used in arithmetic operations. And it is uh, represented by different number systems in which it depends on the number of symbols used to represent these numbers. And we have another one, your character data. Diri masulod ang atong mga symbols, ang mga, atong A, B, C, kanang mga bracket, bracket, comma, period, whatever. Okay? So this composes your letters, symbols, and numerals that will not be used in arithmetic operations. Okay? And these are, these are represented using codes such as ASCII, EBC, DIC, and Unicode. Unsaman po na ang mga kanamangingana. Okay, we will talk about that later on. Ato, let's first dig into your numeric data so we have here four number systems in order for you to represent numeric data ang katong una na discuss na nako kaganiha which is your binary numeric system in which you are only using 0 and 1 or mao na tong itawag base 2 okay kay duhaman 0 ug 1 base 2 second one is your octal kana octal ato po nang itawag base 8 unsa man pud na we are now using eight symbols in order to represent a numeric nga data. Ang kanang eight nga symbols, mo nang 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, mo nang atong walo kabuk nga symbols to represent a numeric data. Okay? Another one is your base 10. Kani, na po. Mo na itong gitawag nga decimal. Ang kanang decimal, mao nang atong common nga nahibawaan karon. 1 2 ay dali dai. 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. Okay? So that is your decimal. Ang octal 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. Okay? Ang binary 0 1. And last is your hexadecimal. Your base 16. So base 2, base 8 Base 10, base 16. Sama po ning base 16. Well, of course, you are using 16 symbols to represent data, numeric data. On sama ning 16 kabuok symbols, we have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then proceed to sa A, B, C, D, E, and F. So we have there. 0 to 9 and then A to F. So those are the 16 symbols that are used for hexadecimal nga values. 
Karon, ato ni sila i-compare ang tulog ka number systems. So here's how you are going to um, express a decimal nga number using either binary, octal, or hexadecimal. So let's say we will count from 1 to 20 sa atong decimal. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 19, and 20. Okay? So, we are going to express all of these decimal numbers into binary, octal, or hexadecimal. Okay? So, in the case of number 1, unahaw na itong binary, ato tagsa-tagsaon ko to 20. So, let's say we have 4 bits. 4 bits lang atong gamiton. Unsa man ang 4 bits gani? 4 lang nga places, 4 numbers. Usado ha tulog. Mm. So, napaday zero. So, unsa may zero sa binary? Of course, since we are using 4 bits, then that is zero, 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 zero. For number one, zero, 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 one. Okay? For number two, zero, zero, one, zero. Unsa may naitabuan na? So, since... Diba ang counting numbers na to kay 1 to 10 man. Diba inig-abot na tog 10 kay mag-carry ta og 1 sa atong 9 para mo balhin siya sa another step. So yung anag ya pero nahitabo dere. But in this case, 1 og 0 lang atong numbers jud. So inig number 3 ani 0 0 1 1. Nya unsa may mahitabo ana? So mag-add na pud tag 1. So ang mahitabo ana Ma zero na ni, unya mo carry na po tag 1, unya 1 plus 1, 0 na po na, mo carry na po tag 1, so that is 100. Ay, no, that is not 100, but you call it 0, 1, 0, 0. So, may ito ba ni? 0, 1, 0, 0. So that is your number 4. So number 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. So nag-add na po tag 1. So in number 6 na po, mag-add na po tag 1, unsa may ito ba? 0, 1, unya, 1 plus 1, 0, ay, 1 plus 1, 1, 0, so mahimo na ng 0, dara, carry 1, that is 0, 1, 1, 0. Ang libog na mo, ay mo kalibog. Number 7, so mag-add na po kag 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Nig 8, unsa may tabo? 1, 0, 0, 0. So number 9, 1, 0, 0, 1. Number 10, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. Number 11. 1, 0, 1, 1. Maka, bantay lang siguro mo sa pattern kung magsigit balik-balik ani. 12. 1, 1, 0, 0. 13. 1, 1, 0, 1. 14. 1, 1, 1, 0. 15. 1, 1, 1, 1. 16. 1, 0, 0, 0. Zero. Nahi mo natang 5 bit. 17. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. 18. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. 19. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And 20, you have 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So, yung anak lang siya kong binary. Nakagets lang mo sa iyang pattern. Na siya pattern. Kung makita ninyo, nag-isbog-isbog lang na ang atong mga ones and zeros. So now, let's proceed diri sa atong octal. Okay. Kung saan po ning atong octal? Well, balik ta. Counting numbers 1 to 7 lang ta. And then, kung mabot na tag 7, mubalik na ta og 0. Sige, let's try. Diri sa octal. Kung saan may imong octal kung 0 ka? Of course, 0. So 1, of course, 1. 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, niabot na ta sa 8 symbols. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, unsa naman niya ito? Inig number 8 siya. Mato na ta sa 1, 0. Okay? Okay, let's just say, ang ato lang na imbento ng numbers is from 0 to 7. Okay? And then, niabot na ito dito sa number 8. 
Muna na siyag 10 sa atong imagination. Nagets mo? Number 9 ta. Ang number 9, 11, number 10, 12, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15, 17. And then, tungod kay 7 naman, inag-add na po na itong usa, ubalik na po siya sa 0. Kanya, mag-carry taog 1. So, ang mahitabo, 2, 0 na. So, 1 na sa 16. 17, 2, 1, 18, 2, 2, 19, 2, 3, and 20, 2, 4. So, yung ana, kung oktal ang atong gamiton. Again, kutub lang ta sa number 7, and then kung mo-proceed na ta sa next number, mag-carry na taog 1 for the next na po nga place. Understood? Okay. So, how about sa hexadecimal? So, in here, since we are going to use 16 um, symbols, that is from 0 to 9, and then A to F. So, yun nga nag At Ito yung consider ang kanong A to F into numbers, and then, more nga po siya 1 to 10, pero mag-carry-carry na po ta. Sige. So, on saman to. Hexadecimal, if 0 is, of course, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then, inig 10 gani. Ang mahitabo na po. 1, 0. Nya. I know. So, inig 10 gani. Ang mahitabo na ni. A. 11. B. 12. C. 13, D, 14, E, 15, F. Understood? Kung hiya, kung saan may sunod sa F, inig 16, may tabuan na, 1, 0. Nya, 17, 1, 1. 18, 1, 2. 19, 1, 3. And then 20, 1, 4. So, that is how you are going to express Decimal numbers into binary, octal, or hexadecimal. I hope na kagets lang mo sa concept nga. Murara siya, murara ka nag-count ang 1 to 10. Pero, uh, gi-imagine lang ni mo nga ang atong 1 to 10 nga numbers did not exist. Na, napailain nga forms of numbers. Ah, listen man to eh, gets. O, listen man to eh, gets. Gusto dyan, di, yung ako, historia. So, yung add to lang ang atong pagsabot o codes in different forms. So, take note, ang kanang atong 10 is just a standard na itong accounting numbers. Asa man na nato gigikan ang 10, di ay, gigikan na sa itong 10 kabuok na fingers. That is why, we usually count numbers using 10. Mo itong natay 11, natay 12. Pero, actually, in reality, pwede ta makabuot o unsay number system nga atong gamiton. Okay, gi-standardize lang na sa world or gi-brainwash. Gi Dili nang brainwash siguro. Pero gi-standardize to understand counting numbers even more. So, ato lang gamit ang kanang 10 because of our siguro 10 nga fingers. Okay? So, ing ato ang pag count using binary, using octal, using decimal which is the very common one in your hexadecimal. Understood? So now, let's proceed to your character data. So, ang katong isa, katong isa, numeric data. So, how are numbers represented with symbols? Karon, how are characters represented with symbols? Well, we have here some standards. Ang katong ako gi pang enumerate kagani ha. Katong ASC11 that is basically your American standard code for information interchange in which they created a standard nga ang letter A siguro mao nang code sa letter A, ang letter B mao na ang code sa letter B, letter C mao nang code sa letter C and etc. Na tumba na ko book dai. And ang kaning atong ASC11 or ASCII, or ANSI YN, it uses 7 bits per character. So, for example, 
Ang letter A, it only uses 7 bits. So, katong mga 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Nga na. So, therefore, ang kanang atong ASCII, it can only create 128 symbols. Because, again, 7 lang kabuok nga bits ang iyang ma-assign per character. If mas daghan nga bits ang iyang ma-assign, then we can have more number of characters to assign. And that 8 bits, mauna na diha sa atong EBCDIC. Or that is basically what you call the Extended Binary Coded Decimal Interchange Code. Para dili mo makalimot sa mga ilang mga koan, shortcut. So, para dili mo makalimot sa ilang shortcut, siguro ato isulting nga. Ang ASCII ay ansay second year, pero walay N. <laughs> Ang kaning second, E, B, C, D, I, C. Whatever. Kamu na bahala ng I, C. Okay? So, eight, again, 8 bits ang gigamit aning E, B, C, D, I, C. Compared sa atong ASC 11, I, I, 7 bits lang. So, katong 7 bits, it can create only 128 characters. Ang kaning EBCDIC, it can create, because it has 8 bits, then it can create 256 codes. Or, basically, para makakompute mo, pila ka codes ang makaya sa number of bits, imo lang gamitan, if binary na, 2 to the power of how many bits ang kanang karak ang kanang ilang gigamit so katong sa atong ASCII 2 to the power of 7 because 7 bits ra man ang iyang gamiton sa tanan nilang character so it can create 128 pero kaning isa 2 to the power of 8 that is 256 so it can create 256 um, probable nga mga characters nga ma-assign aning EBCDIC and your third one mao ang pinaka daghan nga ma-assign nga codes ang imong unicode and that is the shortcut of your universal code of course unicode okay this one creates 16 bits per character okay so ang isa 7 ang isa 8 karon kay ni kalit ang taas 16 16 bits per character and if you power 2 by 16 well, ang iyang ma-create ng characters is 65,536 characters ang ma-create ang atong Unicode. So, this is the most advanced sa aning tulo because it can read 65,000 codes. And this one is intended to address the need for a workable Reliable world text encoding. So, daggan pa man kayo mga symbols. No, wala pa mo siguro ka imagine unsay. Uban nga mga symbols. Pero this one can address those world text encoding. Uh, wala pa na ninyo na huna hunaan. Okay? And these are used for languages that requires more characters than your American alphabet. Okay, so. Motong tolo, ASCII, EBCDIC, and Unicode. So, karon, how are we going to convert numbers that are represented in binary, octal, or hexadecimal into a decimal? So, let's try this one. Ang importante ani, just take note of the position of the number. For example, we have a number of two zero seven. Take note if this one is expressed in base ten, so basically yung purma and we we know that this number is actually two hundred seven and Take note of the positions of 2, 0, and 7. And let's put them in order. And we'll start from the right. So basically, your 7 
is 0, your 0 is 1, and your 2 is 2. So, kung na pa na yung mga numbers nga naglaray na rin, guro, 1, 4, ang, ato yung pangana na, ang 1 is 3, and ang 4 is 4. Nga na lang, pero, for this example, gamit ng taog 3 digits. So, therefore, your number 270 ay, Tanawin ni nato sa aning expression. 207 base 10 is equal to Okay, tanawin ni ha. 2 0 and 7. And ato na sila ipang-add kana silang tulo. But we should multiply it first by the base of 10. So 2 multiplied by 10, 0 multiplied by 10, and 7 multiplied by 10. Okay? And then, unsa may gamit aning atong mga gipang assign nga numbers dire? Mao na ang atong igamit sa atong power. 2, 1, and 0. So, 10 to the power of 2, that is 100. Multiplied by 2, that is 200. No? Plus, 0 times 10 to the power of 1. And so may 10 to the power of 1, that is 10. But it is multiplied by 0, so that is 0. Plus 7 times 10 to the power of 0. What is 10 to the power of 0? That is 1. And 1 times 7 is 7. So you have 207. So yung yung concept. And same goes sa ato pag-convert aning atong binary, octal, and hexadecimal into idecimal. So say for example, we have this code. One, zero, one. And again, this one is expressed as binary. Okay, obviously, we have ones and zeros lang. And... Again, let's put them in order. Again, atong order is from right to left. So that is 0, 1, 15, 16. So question, pila bits? These are 17 bits. Because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 17 book bits. Okay? So, how are we going to express this binary into a decimal? Sige. Ito ba ito? So ito, equals to, ito na tagsa-tagsaon, 1 plus... So, Ato sunod button ato i-multiply sa iyang base. Again, this is your base, your 2. So times 2 times 2. Times 2. Ago ay. Eh. Okay. So karon. So unsa on ganito na to ang um power ani to the power of kuan so ato ni gamiton ato ni subayon since ang atong order is from left to right man eh, from left to right so ato gamiton to the power of 16 15 and 0 so karon ato ni tagsa tagsaon og loy hasol ba diyan ni Okay, ato tagsa tagsa o no, solve. Ato sa panglinginon ang nai-answer bi kay murag mas stress ta ani mag-answer ta niya zero ra day. So nani answer. Nani answer. Nani answer. Nani answer. Nani answer. Nani answer og nani answer. So 1 2 th So 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. 7 ang atong answer. Okay. So una ta. Una ta sa 1 times 2 to the power of 16. So what is 2 to the power of 16? Basically, that is 65,000 
536. So, muna ay answer sa 1 times 2 to the power of 16. So, now, since 0 mani, and 0 mani, and 0 ng rest nga na zeros, so, dirita sa 1 times 2 to the power of 13. What is 1 times 2 to the power of 13? That is 8,192. So, nod, kanita. Plus 1 times 2 to the power of 7. That is 127. Next is 1 times 2 to the power of 5. What is 1 times 2 to the power of 5? That is 32. What is 1 times 2 to the power of 3? That is 8. 1 times 2 to the power of 2, that is 4. And 1 times 2 to the power of 0, that is 1. And if we are going to total that, that will be the equivalent decimal sa aning binary ng atong gihimo. Okay? So, your answer here is 73,901. And now, this is your base 10. So, this is your answer. And this is how you are going to convert binary numbers into decimal numbers. Understood? Have you got dako an example? Okay, then ako mag-example lang laay na. Kaya lang, parang kadaghan ba ni? And I guess, parang nag-get sa ito ninyo da yun. Okay? And now, let's proceed to converting base 8 or octal an octal number into a decimal number so base 8 to base 10 ang una ato gibuhat base 2 to base 10 karon base 8 to base 10 so let's have this example 1336 so inigbasa nimo og base 8 nga number base 2 nga number og base 16 nga number Kung imo ni basa, ayaw isulti nga 1,336 because dili ni decimal. In this case, this is base 8. So, we read this one as 1,336. Kay dili parihas ang 1,336 o 1,336 kung nag-refer ka o base 8. So, this one is base 8. And we are going to take note again, same process gihapon dito sa atong binary. Uh, tong gibuhat kay 0, 1, 2, and 3. This one is a bit shorter compared sa atong binary kaganiha. So, mas dali ni isolve. Okay. Ang atong gibuhat sa una. Ang atong gibuhat pag first. Ato gibuhat po ni apply dere. 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6. And then, we multiply by their base. This one is 8. This one is 8, 8, and 8. And then, balik na punta diri sa atong mga nasa ubos. So, that is 3, 2, 1, and 0. Okay, understood. So, basically, if you're going to solve this one, you have, so, Again, what is 1 times 8 to the power of 3? So that is 1 times 8 to the power of 3. That is 512. 3 times 8 to the power of 2. 3 times 8 to the power of 2. That is 192. 3 times 8 to the power of 1. That is 24, I think. And 6 times 8 to the power of 0. It's 8 to the power of 0. Eh. 1, but siguro na, no? So, that is 6. So, if we're going to total that one, 512 plus 192 plus 24 plus 6, we have here 734. And this one is in base 10. And this is your answer in this case. Well, diba? Sayun lang. Understandable. So, let's proceed to a number that is base 16 and let's convert it into base 10. Sige. Huh. 
Sa'yo na lang siya. Sa'yo naman siya nga topic actually. Pero, yeah, morag taas. Pero, dilo eh. Sa'yo lang ni. So, let's try this one. Kani kay na natin letters. 2 F A 4. And again, that one is base 16. So, see, if we see letters dira sa atong code, then we will immediately understand that this one is in base 16. Okay, ang base 16 naman, ang obviously na ay letters. Okay, dito sa atong base 2, base 8, decimal, wala man tayong mga letters. The same, we are going to put their order, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And now, let us express this one into a decimal. So, same gihapon ng atong button. 2 plus. Kung saan man ang F. Kung saan ang F. Di ba natin ordering kagani ha? Nga ka itong... E and F. And ato sila tanahon sa atong ordering sa decimal. 1, 2, 3. Uh, obviously, that is 9. This is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So, in this case, as you can see, ang atong letter F, that is number 15. And that is what we are going to put here. 15. Okay? So, how about your A? That is the 10th. So, that is 10. Next is ang imong 4, which is... Obviously, that is 4. And we are going to multiply it by its base. 2 times 16, 15 times 16, 10 times 16, and 4 times 16. And again, we should power it by the red colors. That is 3, 2, 1, and 0. Okay, so now let's solve this one. Using our calculator. So this is two times sixteen multiplied to the power of three. That is eight thousand one hundred ninety-two plus fifteen times sixteen to the power of two. That is three thousand eight hundred forty plus ten. Times sixteen, the power of well, to the power of one. Di ba na untok sa answer pero ako gikalkyo plus four times sixteen to the power of zero, which is obviously that is four. And we will arrive an answer of eight thousand one hundred ninety two plus three thousand eight hundred forty plus one hundred sixty plus four. And we have an answer of twelve thousand one hundred ninety-six. And again, this is in base ten. Understood? Sayon na jusya sabton, and I hope that you grasp the concept of how to convert binary, octal, and hexadecimal into a decimal number. Okay. Karon, how are you going to convert a decimal into binary, octal, or hexadecimal nga expression? So let's say, for example, kaning atong una, I want to express this decimal into a binary nga digit or binary nga code or expression or nga na. So, let's say I want to convert this decimal number of 73,901. Okay? I want to convert this one and again, this one is in base 10 and I want to convert that one into binary. Sa ganitong binary, mauto ang 0101100011. How are we gonna do that? Ingan nila itong baton. Ato ni siya, 
tagsa-tagsaon og divide. So since we want to convert it in binary, on sa ng binary katong 2. So let's divide it by 2. So ato yung ganyan on. 73,901 divided by 2. So ang answer niya, if it, ato yung divide by 2, is 36,950. And then asya 0.5. Ang kanang point 0.5, kung naatay remainder gani, ato na siya ay automatic ng 1. So, naatay 1 dira. Okay? And then, karon na naman tayo kani, nga value, whatever, 36,950, mga atong gamiton, and then we are going to divide it by 2. And the answer here is 1,800, no, this is 18,475. And since there is no remainder, then that is zero. Next is Modni. Nanatay 18,475, and we are going to divide it by two again. And naatay remainder, so that is 9,237, and 0.5, that is one. Next, Moto. 9,237 divided by two. So again, we have a remainder. So that is 4,618.5, so that is 1. Next is 4,618 divided by 2, that is 2,309. And since we have no remainder, so that is 0. Next, 2,309 divided by 2. 1154. 1154. And since not a remainder, so that is 1. So 1154 divided by 2, that is 577. And uh, well, a remainder, so that is 0. And 577 divided by 2, that is 288. And not a remainder, so that is 1. And uh, 288 divided by 2, that is 144. So, 1, 4, 4, and wala the remainder, so that is 0. And 1, 4, 4 divided by 2, that is 72. And what the remainder, so that is 0 still. 72 divided by 2, that is 36. So, that is still 0. And 36 divided by 2, that is 18. And still 0. And 18 divided by 2, that is 9. So that is 0 as well. And 9 divided by 2, that is 4.5. So 4, since not a remainder, that is 1. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So wala the remainder, so 0. And 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So wala the remainder, that is 0. And 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. So 0 and not the remainder, that is 1. So how are we gonna express this one into binary? So we have to read it from bottom to top. What the tops? Okay? So ato na basahan siya pa taas. So therefore, this is expressed in binary as 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And this is in base 2. No, mali na ko sa color. Okay? So this is your binary form of that decimal nga 73,901. Dabad sa ulo, no? <laughs> okay na rin siya, kaya mag-divide lang ka kanunay until makuan nga. So, kung again, kung nai remainder, 1. Kung wala remainder, 0. And, voila! You have formed your binary expression sa imong number. Okay. So now, let's proceed. How about we are going to convert a decimal into an octant? 
Okay? So decimal to octant na punta. And let's say we want to convert 734. And again, this is base 8. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is base 10. And we want to convert this one into an octant. Instead, katong sa binary, nag-divide ta og 2. There is octant, ato ay divided by 8. So, calculate na punta. So, that is 734 divided by 8. And you have an answer of 91. And take note of the decimal, 0 0.75. Okay? Okay? Ato pa na pangita ng remainder, Ana. And to get the remainder, we, ha we have to multiply 0 0.75 multiplied by the base that we are going to change. Maunin atong base, and that is 8. So, 0 0.75 times 8. And your remainder is 6. Okay? So next is 91 divided by 8. So that is 11. And na siya remainder nga 0 0.375. And ang remainder ani sa atong base 8, that is 0 0.375 times 8. And that is 3. And let's proceed. 11 divided by 8, that is 1, and atong decimal is 375, and that is still 3. And now, 1 divided by 8, and that is 0. And imong ko anari, 0 0.125. And that is basically 0 0.125 is equal to a remainder of 1. And all we have to do is to read again pataas. So, therefore, this one is expressed in octant as 1, 3, 3, 6. That is base to the 8. And this is how you are gonna convert your decimal into octant. Understood? And let's proceed from decimal na pod into a hexadecimal. Yeah, let's do this. So let's convert, let's say, 73,901. Let's convert that one. And again, this is base 10. We will convert it into hexa decimal. Okay? So, the same. 16 atong i-divide na karon. So, this is 73,901 divided by 16. And that is 4,680. 18. And we have a remainder of 0 0.8125. And kaganiha sa atong octant, ato ito gimultiply og 8. Pero karon ato na siya i-multiply og 16. 0 0.8125 multiplied by 8125 multiplied by 16. And we have a remainder of 13. And wa man tayo value nga 13 dito sa atong hexadecimal, di ba? So, on sa man to, Diba? Sa atong 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. This is A, B, C, D, E, and F. So, since this is 13, so D. So, that is D. Okay? Ito na separate kayo mga libog mo. Okay? So, next. 4,618 divided by 16. That is 288 na decimal of 0 0.625 and convert that one 0 0.625 multiplied by 16 that is 10. So your 10 is A. Diba? 10 is A. Let's proceed. So 288 divided by 16 that is 18. Since there is no remainder so, that is 0. 
Proceed 18 divided by 16, that is 1, and not a decimal of 1 to 5. And 0 0.125 multiplied by 16 is 2. Are we done? We're not yet done because ato pa na divide ang 1 divided by 16. And that is 0 0.0625. And 0 0.0625 multiplied by 16, that is 1. So, again, we should read pa sa kanapon. And it will be, again, expressed as 1, 2, 0, A, D. So, 120 AD. Muna na asa past char. Understood? And now, this is in base 16. So, there you have it. Sayon lang kaayo ang atong conversions. Karon, how are we going to express octal and hexadecimal values into a binary? Wala na ta atong decimal, pero... Ang atong gigamit na karon kay ang octal o hexadecimal ato siya i-convert into binary numbers. Well, pwede man tanan na nga base 8, base 16 yung ato i-convert into katong base 10 o niya ato na po i-convert into base 2, no? Pero natin shortcut po nga, pwede ta mag base 8 or 16 into base 2. So, let's have an example of a base 8. Kani ang base 8? So, this is 2, 2, 0, 255 five. And again, this is in base 8. Hmm. Now, I want again to convert this one into binary. Ang ato lang buhaton, ato lang ni tanawon nga mga digits one by one. And then unsa ni sila sa atong binary. Unsay value ani nila sa atong binary. Nakainamdo mo? Diba katong, sige, ato, to e, 1 to 10. Okay, 1, 2, 3, ay, kung ano naman na yun, yun, yung octant. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ito na yung itang-tang, wala yung gamit. 6, 7. Hmm. So, uh, ang, ang, ang value ano eh? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 1. Palimutan mo ko eh. 1, 1, 0. O niya, 1, 1, 1. Mm. Diba? Yung nga na. So, kani, since 2, that is 0, 1, 0. Okay, diba? Parehas naman na. Okay? 2, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0. 2, 0. 0, 1, 0, 5, which is 1, 0, 1, and another 5, 1, 0, 1. So, basically, ang binary expression ano niya is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and that is in base. Wow, amazing. So easy, Char. Mm. So, yung ana, pagkuha, kung you convert base 8 to base 2. So, how about we will convert base 16 into base 2? Taasa ni nga lecture in, stress na ko. So, let's say, for example, we have A, 3, D, 7. And this one, again, is in base 16, of course. So, how are you gonna convert it again into base 2? Balik ta dito sa atong mga ordering numbers, 0, 1. Nya, kay bawta nga, 1, 2, 9. 1, 2, 9, nagya punto. Ang 10 is A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, so, ato tanahon. Nya, ato po to binary day. Ato na. May pag-atol lang dito, gibinary. Very wrong. So, 0, 0, 0, 0. And 1, 2, 
ันวันวันวันฮโอเคสมมติอังอียงมังอา binary equivalence อันหนึ่งอะตอง hexadecimal ง่ายมังอา values สิ่งที่ so มองแก่ปอน for นับปุ่นกับ values ง่ายตรงนี้ปังบุตังนี่ละสิ่งที่ so since your a is one zero one zero that is one zero one zero your three That is zero zero one one zero zero one one. Your D is one one zero one, so one one zero one. And your seven is zero one one one, so that is zero one one one. So expressed in binary, ang kaniyang atong hexadecimal nga value. So that is one zero one zero 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 one one. One one zero one zero one one one. Mura mantang na kuana niya. Okay, so maoni ang atong binary code, binary expression, aning atong hexadecimal nga value. No, amazing, di ba? Amazing siya. Now, atoy pa balik binary na pod, and let's convert it into base eight or base sixteen. Last na jud ni. Last na. Kapoy na ang mga solve-solve. Okay. Sige. Let's try this one. 1-0-0-1-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
and now this is in hexadecimal. Hey, this topic is so fun. Uh, na um, na nalipay jud ko adong paggets na ko aning uh, mga solve solve and I hope sa ako pagtudlo ninyo na gets po ninyo. So, ing adto lang kasayon ang pagconvert sa imong binary octal decimal hexadecimal into i-interchange ni mo ang ilang pa-express. Diba sa yun lang? Mm. So, let's proceed to this last one. Your computer-aided engineering. Ano sa mga din computer-aided engineering? So, basically, engineering deals with scientific and mathematical approach sa certain nga problem. Well, we can do that and we can achieve more if we have computers. So that is why we have this computer-aided engineering in which it is the use of computers to design, analyze, and manufacture products and processes. It aids you for the design, analy analyzation, and the manufacture of products. Okay? And there are software tools that were developed to support activities in engineering. And unsa man na sila, unsa man ning mga kuan, software tools. We have first your CAD. That is your computer aided design, which is mao na tong atong na agian sa atong pag first year. Unsa ato gibuhat adto? We are creating simulations we are creating models of something because instead of creating that real object you can create it using CAD and simulate it as if it is real Mindot kaya ang computer because it again can help you in your engineering nga analysis I think you are very familiar of some examples of CAD. Ang una, AutoCAD. Another one is SolidWorks, in which na discuss na nako sa atong CAD sa una. Okay? And another one kind of CAE or your computer aided engineering is your CAM. Sa so, ganitong CAM, na discuss na nako sa una, your computer aided manufacturing. Ang sabahan po ni mga CAM. Mauning atong mga robotics in which ang computer na ang nag-control sa atong robots in your in the manufacturing of a product. For example, di ba nakakita ka sa kanang mga factory nga ang nanay mga robot-robot nga maging anak na magpurma na sa sa usa ka butang and they do it very precisely. Again, it is because with the aid of computers. Ang computer na nag-analyze sa dimensions, ano ang abutang, and then siya na ang nagpurma ano ang abutang. So that is your computer-aided manufacturing. So that's it for our lesson for this morning. We have discussed your computer, the basic fundamentals of computer. Your computer are complex machines and it is composed of your hardware and your software. And your computer enhances our work. Second, the most basic knowledge nga atong nahibawaan sa computer is duha. Katong zero and one. Or mo na atong giingon nga on and off. And Naa sa ato ang challenge unsao na to pag complex anang atong on and off in order for our computers to understand what we want to what we want them to do. And again, those on and off are your electrical signals dito sa imong computer and it represents the data nga ganahan nimo i hatag, i transmit dito sa computer. And we can appreciate especially karon sa atong modern nga technology 
on how computer has developed so far and uh, karon listod na nato imagine kung unsa na gi unsa na, na paghimo ang computer and we have to thank the engineers and we have to appreciate their efforts in making our lives more easier also those engineers benefit from the computers it opened innovative ways to develop and implement cost effective and cutting edge technologies so that is an introduction of this course i hope that you your minds were refreshed sa inyong programming especially sa katong nagdeal ta sa binary octal decimal hexadecimal things and i hope nga work na challenge mo ning subject nga ning course nga hala ing ani dai siya kanindot no ing ani dai siya ka challenging so sa akong discussion karon if you have any questions if naglibog paghihapon ka adtong on and off nga nag on and off ko nga nag zero one ko if naglibog pa mo adto or sa adtong pag convert then we will gladly accept inquiries accept questions and clarifications in this topic thank you for your time sa pagpaminaw aning lecture and i hope to see you again on the next meeting. Peace.